Hello guys to another After Effects tutorial. Today we're gonna learn how to create a highlight on text in After Effects. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna create a new composition. Then click on OK button. Then we're gonna upload our paper. So let's place it on the composition and switch to the full resolution. Okay, good. So now we'll add our highlight. So let's draw a rectangle. Change the color to the yellow one. Hit OK button and then draw our rectangle. Good. So now let's reset the anchor position. Control and double click and let's resize our rectangle. Move the anchor point to the left side and search for the roughen edges. Double click and let's adjust our parameters in the effects and controls panel. Then we'll change the blend options to the multiply. Good. So let's animate our highlight. Let's jump to the half of a second. Then press S and add the keyframe. Drag to the beginning of the video and uncheck the link and set the 100% of width to 0. Then select all keyframes and press F9 to make an easy ease. Then go to the graph panel and search for speed graph and adjust the curve like this okay let's test it then go back and let's make a motion blur okay that's good let's create more highlights So let's make alternative uh, animations. Add the position keyframe by pressing P and drag to the beginning and drag the paper down. Okay, like this. And then easy ease them and, uh, and adjust the speed graph. Okay, there we are. Okay, let's make a background animations. So let's add a keyframe to the scale and the rotation. Drag it here like this. Then we're gonna change the values of each one. Okay. Mm, 
pretty good. Okay, our paper is ready for the video editing. So let's export it as a transparent background video. Go to the file, export, add to render QE. Go here and select quick time. Then select RGB plus alpha. Then hit OK button and specify the folder. Render it. So let's jump to the Premiere Pro again. Drag and drop. Nest all, then go to the effects panel and search for posterize time. Double click and uh, make it, for example, uh, 18. Then click here and go to the sequence and press render selection. Cool. <laughs> okay. Let's add uh, an option of uh, something like uh, blur. Uh, go to the window. Workspaces color. Select the background and uh, select the saturation. Click. Then go to the saturation panel in the basic correction. Add the keyframe. Make it zero. And then search for Gaussian blur. Double click again, add a keyframe, making something like uh, 30 or 15, maybe, and adjust it with the color. Okay, let's make it zero, and boom. I hope you like that tutorial. If you want to see more content from us, please subscribe to our channel and like that video. And thanks for watching.